Autumn Smith, and I wanted to talk to you, John, because I really thought that your videos uh, showed a lot of information that we're not being told, um, we're being misled. I think there's a lot of questions that need to be answered, and I think it's really important that somebody accounts and answers for what you're finding in the river and what's been going on. I'm trying to do my part, and I appreciate you doing yours, and hopefully you they, they couldn't even handle this mess. They don't even know what they're doing. They, they turned it over to someone else as of just lately. What do you mean they couldn't handle the mess? This was much more than they have ever handled, or, and they did not have the knowledge on even how to handle this big of a disaster. So you don't feel EPA did the job properly? No, I don't. No. no. Absolutely not. No. They, when they not. even go around with their monitoring, right? to, to get an accurate... Um, number, yeah. you have to hold that thing out or have it on for at least five minutes. Right. There wasn't a, I, I they parked out in front they of our house. They parked right here. And there was never a time where they had had it out five That's minutes. time they didn't get out of the truck. Right. No, they stick out the window like that. Yep. Done, gone. Yep. It's all right. So, when, what day did you say the EPA left? Told, you I mean, uh, about, about told the uh, uh, yeah. EPA told yeah, Enron they had to be back done back. working at the 27th yeah, they, they of this of September. There was a paper so the after the so they come in my house EPA told Enbridge after the 27th of September yeah, they they, they had, had to be done. They had to be done. And they haven't did any work here since since, uh, since no. the 27th of September. So, so that that day everybody left. The only ones that's going up down there now is the ones that's changing the buoys and the airboats. Changing the Hi, Deb. Um, what's your opinion on all this? I'm not surprised. We've said from the beginning that we didn't believe that it could be cleaned up. And, uh, it looks good from a distance, um, but time will only tell what we're really going to be left with, so... What's Enbridge been telling you? Uh, Enbridge has told us, well, the EPA has told us that this was going to be cleaned up at least phase one by October 31st, that's today, and, um... Look what you have on your hands. Yeah, definitely, definitely not clean. Not even close. They got, they got millions of dollars they're gonna have to spend. Uh, get it out of your pockets, Enbridge, because you're not. We're not quitting until it's clean. So, Ryan, uh, what do you have to say to Enbridge? Clean it up. I, I want to see it clean. I, you know, don't just start in one area or down downstream. Start at the, start at the main point. You know, it's, it's pointless to start downstream and work your way back. You know, you might as well start ground zero and work your way down. Um, for the last few years, what have you uh, been chairman of? Uh, I was chairman. I actually, uh, I've served on the committee board for two, three years now um, for Ducks Unlimited. I just recently, uh, within the last year, took over the chairman position. And, you know, to see things like this, this is what we, we fight to keep from happening, you know, to save these kind of places. We, just, we want to see it cleaned up. Yeah. And you mentioned that you don't want what to come down here? I don't want the oil to come down here. Uh, I don't I, I don't dare bring my dogs out here to, you know, hunt with me because I, I don't want them to end up sick and die from all this uh, oil here. What do you think about when you go duck hunting? Are you are you afraid to go duck, hunt, duck hunting now? Absolutely. I don't dare come back out here. You know, uh, it's it was my best spot to duck hunt and now it's 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 pointless. I, I don't dare come out. Uh, uh, Ryan's wife. Here's Ryan. Macy. And uh, this is his wife. What do you have to say to Enbridge? I thought it was all cleaned up. Do you think they lied to you? It's obvious they lied to us. They, they should you? never have pulled out the cleaning. They, it's they nice out. They could have worked for another oil? month. Absolutely. Oil? There's no Great. reason why. Box two out of Southfield. Um, this is Rob Owner's the oil that's that's on here. This is this is in your backyard. This is right directly behind you. So um, um, it's all over the place. It's every area of Suresco Dam. I've been everywhere. And what do you uh, think about that? What do I think about that? Yeah. I just hope the EPA makes them come back and clean it up. Yeah. They will now. Now that we got the press involved and uh, the homeowners uh, see the truth, um, they'll be back. That's Land a guarantee. Owner over at Sresco Dam. 
This is uh, the first glove I got uh, that I videotaped, which you can watch the videos later on tonight. This is the second one. What do you think about that? EPA said it's all done. Doesn't look too good. <laughs> what do you want them to do? I think they ought to look into it. I hope they do. Um, we will uh, get these videos out, and I, I hope uh, people listen because it's a beautiful area out there. Oh, yeah, it is. But I really don't want your grandkids or your children to go out in there because this is what's going to get on their legs and hands, and it's awful. I hope it doesn't get in you well, sir. And and did they say they were coming back? Um, no, to they, they made the claim. It's clean. They're moving on. Clean, they're moving on. They're not coming back to clean this up. So when they lie to you later on and say, well, we our paperwork says we were coming back, These this is what they told them. They left this stuff. This is Chuck Good again. Um, he just told me something that I feel is important that everybody should know. What about the property value of this area? The property value out here in this entire neighborhood is right now at zero. What do you mean by zero? Zero meaning banks will not give loans. So if a family wants to move out and someone wants to move in, they try to get a mortgage um, through a bank, what's going to happen? Uh, nothing. The bank can't even get an assessment done on the properties out here. So it still isn't happening. But why? Why? I mean, Enbridge says this is clean. Why? Why would that be? Well, the banks disagree. There's, you know, there's oil in all sorts of uh, areas of the river, but I just do this so I can show the homeowner that it's not, it's not done. Chuck said that they said it's all done. And what do you guys have to say about this? It stinks really bad. It's gross. We can smell it clear across the river where we live. Their, their airboats, if they would just clean it the right way instead of pick and choose, zigzag. Uh, just so you know, I'm, I'm not videotaping your faces. I have it pointed downward. You can go anywhere along the river. Walk out along the edge of the river, and you can find oil residue anywhere and everywhere. Mm -hmm. Anywhere and everywhere. Hey, that here, uh, that's right next to our house. She lived right on the river. So, Ambridge is meeting us. I met with this guy before, and he's not going to be happy about me being here. And her, her children. Does benzene cause cancer? And you're saying it doesn't cause cancer? I'm breathing in. I, I, don't, I hope not. I'm not a scientist. All right. Well, scientists have said that it does cause cancer. Why don't you guys come tell her there's no oil here so I can prove you wrong. Just, just tell her. Just say there's no oil out here. Can you do that for me on record? Oil, everybody. When they say that they're still cleaning up these areas, um, what do you say to that? Talk shit.